or mark a result and a performance that's not up to your usual high standards. What's your take on today? Yeah, so we certainly didn't enjoy that one today. And, uh, you know, I felt for our fans because they're turning out because they believe in us and um, we've, we've been lacklustre today. Didn't reach the standards that we set ourselves. We were, you know, sloppy at times and got punished. And it's been uncharacteristic for us. And I can say that because one defeat in 12, I think, in the league shows that we're a tough nut to crack. But today we were. And, um, you know, that was a little bit of the... All the shot of old, and um, you know we don't want to see that again. So, you know we we'll have to use it as a, a slap around the face, a bit of a reality check, and um, just sharpen our focus. And um, you know I'm always, you know, interested to see how we react after because you know when we've been punched in the face, let's let's, let's see how we react because um, you know I'm hurting. I know my players are hurting at the moment, and my, and my staff, and you know we feel that we've probably. You know, let our fans down today because we haven't reached our usual high standards. But it was, um, yeah, it was a bad day at the office for us today, and we just got to make sure it's a bad day. And um, you know, we've got to move on and, and learn our lessons. I think that's the most frustrating thing, though, is given the form we were in and the high standards we've now set and the performances we put in. Today's just seems like one of those off days. Yeah, d definitely. And, and I want to put it down to an off day, but you know, we will we'll certainly look, look into it. We'll look at ways to improve. Um, but yeah, it was it was almost infectious out there today, wasn't it? It was like one bad pass led to someone else and it was almost catching and and we can't do that you know we can't look for excuses um, we, we, we've got to be better we know that and the goals were very soft very soft goals too easy too, too easy and uh, you know there weren't loads in the game but goals changed games and Barnett's game plan was stronger and better for getting in the lead and uh, we were out the game before we were in the game today and then the second half when we had the win with us you know you're looking to get out and get into the ascendancy. I felt we started on the front foot a little bit more and sh showed a little bit more intent. No, we knew as much as we would like, but it, you know, one goal changes that game with the wind and our crowd behind us. And then unfortunately, they got the third. The next goal was always going to be um, the most vital goal uh, with the scoreline being 2-0. Unfortunately, they got it. Uh, it. It was a clear foul in the middle of the pitch. And uh, once it goes three, it's, it's almost out of our hands then. Tommy's a great strike at the end to get one back. That'll be good and a bit of confidence for him as well. But um, yeah, today was a bad day at the office. We're going to have to, um, you know, reflect on this, not not throw, not 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 lose our heads, and you know, have a have a clear head, um, a clear way of working, get back to what we're good at, okay, and improve what um, what we weren't so good at today. Let's talk about obviously just before the game, Keith Baker, one of our centurions, remembered really well and a great moment to remember him today. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, you really want to be um, celebrating what a great character and uh, all the shot person he, he was. We really want to be celebrating that of a, a performance of befitting of someone like that. Unfortunately, we didn't show that on the pitch. We showed it before the game in our respects and rightly so. Um, shame we couldn't get the win of what be befitting of what is a legend of our club. Um, but look, my thoughts are to him and his family, and um, I'm glad that the the club, um, you know, showcased that in the right manner. Of course, just a few changes made from the game last. Yeah, no, look, I don't, I don't think many of the players. Uh, I don't think any of the players have reached their usual standards today. I can't single anyone out. We made early substitutions. That first half hour was as bad as I've seen us. Um, as we we slept, walked our way through a game today, and you can't afford it in this league. Um, you know. No, no, no problem with substitutions. You know, substitutions need to happen. It don't matter if it's in the first minute or the 89th minute. If you feel you need to change something, you've got to change something. And we certainly did need to do that. Um, you know, like I said, we were sloppy. We slept, walked our way through, and uh, we got punished. Of course, Scott Wilson also came on, made his debut for the club. Looked lively at times, but maybe in a game that's maybe already gone, it's a tough moment to come involved, come and get involved. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, we were itching to get him on, and uh, you know, two 0 would have been better. And then, like I said, that next goal that's just killed the game, game set match, and that was our last little bit. Um, you know, got taken away from us, and like I said, it was a it was a poor decision from the referee. But we can't look for excuses after today. You know, we can't look at ourselves. And we weren't good enough. And uh, but you know, a goal could have sparked us into life. We needed to get it earlier. We didn't, and then we'll, we'll have to move on. But yeah, it's good to see Scott Wilson out on the pitch. He's obviously got good attacking threat. And uh, I just wait for him to walk past for the third time. And then um, yeah, obviously he's got some good attacking threat. And then we could um, you know shows that he's got some skills that we can hopefully utilise going forward. Of course, like you mentioned, it was two quick fire goals in the first half. Maybe. That set the tone for the game. Is that going to be difficult to come back from after that? Yeah, definitely. And, and the goals are <sighs> weak, really weak. You know, like I don't know how the first one went in, and then and then the second one, we, you know, was was there offside as we got our line up? Did we not get our line up high enough? And then it, it swung around the back post, and 
you know, we should have someone there or we should be covering the space a lot better. And it's something we pride ourselves on. You know, we've probably got one of the best defensive records in the league in the last sort of 10, 12 games. And then we, we've turned up. And that's why it hurts us today. This, this frustration is because of the potential this group has got. This frustration is because of what we've shown. And I know people have turned up expecting more today, and rightly so. And we've uh, under-delivered. So, um, you know, we've got to get back on the training ground and make sure that this do not happen again. You mentioned it as well. It is a young group that's still growing and has the potential to grow on and get even better. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we, like I said, it's an infectious performance today where it almost the, the poor quality just kept you know was rubbing off on everyone and we've had one of those days um, but we'll learn from it like I said we're a young group and we've had been in a lot tougher times when we first come in and we rallied and we grew from that and we've got to use this again as a catalyst to to, be, to build us back up again you know it's not what you do and you're winning it's when you know you have your, your low moments and um, you know today was a low moment for us let's see how we respond. You mentioned the fans obviously came out in great numbers again today. Great support for them. Just unfortunately, we couldn't give them the result they were after. Yeah, exactly. And uh, at the moment, you know, our better performances are coming away from home, and that's not not what I, you know not what I want. I want I want better home performances, and you know the players know that. You know that. And, you know, they, you could probably see some of the tension out there from them as well because they know we all want to deliver for our fantastic home support. Um, but we're going to have to pick some points up away from them. We're going to have to get back on, get those performances right. So when they ne come back out and next see us, we are, uh, you know, we give them something to cheer about. You mentioned obviously the next game. Obviously, it's a long trip, Grimsby away, but a great opportunity to back up, get back on the horse, as you say. Yeah, definitely another huge game, big club, Grimsby. You know, they were top of the league at the start. They've just dropped out. They've had some good results of late. You know, got that quality all over the park. So they're good at playing against a great team again. So, you know, no better way than to, to get back out there and, um, you know, really challenge them to a, to a tough game. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.